Hello cats. I am at Isis Oasis. It is about 9 or 10 in the evening. I um, think I'm going to go mosey on down and see how my ocelot's doing, my little Isis. And just wanted to check in and um, you know, possibly talk about a few subjects. Although it's kind of hard to collect my thoughts. It feels like a tornado or a hurricane is going to start brewing out here. So some of the things that I talked about um, have been um, parts of our spiritual community, especially revered leaders turning to uh, conservative Christianity. And whether that happens to be something that is run off of the steam of fear or uh, if it's just kind of a, um, a convergence, uh, not a coincidence, but a, you know, a meaningful coincidence, a synchronicity, a convergence of like minds and like spirits. Here at Isis Oasis, I actually have not met anyone who has gone in that direction. If they were to, if I uh, thought they were happy and in a better place than they were before, I would of course wish them well on their path. And either way, I'm, I would wish them well on their path because that's uh, the journey that they are taking. As long as it's not hurting anyone, then they should find out what it's all about, you know. Um, for myself, I... You know, it actually is making me a little bit depressed, I think, or triggering my depression um, to keep hearing about how we're all going to hell. And when Doreen Virtue was talking about this wonderful woman who was volunteering at the church, uh, the Episcopal Church that she was attending at the time, she said this woman was unlike anyone she had ever met in a volunteer context. None of it was for show. It was all about serving the the ones that she was volunteering the time to. And she, essentially, Doreen was describing a saint. But she said, if somebody does not reach out and accept Christ once they find out about his existence, they go to hell regardless. It doesn't matter what kind of good works that person has done. It doesn't matter what kind of pure heart that person has. And okay, this woman who was doing the volunteering, who had this wonderful pure heart, was Christian. But if she had been exactly the same woman, but Muslim or Jewish or Buddhist or Hindu or you know, atheist, agnostic, whatever, she would be in hell. This woman, who is probably the saintliest woman that Doreen Virtue had ever met, would be burning in hell for eternity had she been of a different faith or no faith. Something to ponder.